Okay, so here are the two control boxes side by side. This is the Chinese generic one, and this is the Franklin control box here. And here it is opened up. Basically, the the diagrams for both are essentially the same. You have a 220 volt feed coming in here, which consists of three wires, two hots, and a ground. The ground will go directly to the motor. One of the hots will go directly to the motor. The other one will break off and power the capacitor and go to the motor, providing three feeds and a ground to the motor. A uh, three wire, which is actually four because it's three with a ground. This essentially is the same thing. You have two hots coming in here. You have one jumping over. You have the primary leg going through this relay here. Here's the one jumping over. Here's the primary power um, going through this relay here. It first goes through the capacitor and once the motor um, reaches speed it'll switch, this relay will switch over to direct power and of course it goes uh, ground to ground here. Now there's no switch in this box because it's a it's a quick disconnect. As soon as you open the box it, it uh, disconnects it from the power and the pump. So really the only thing between the difference between this box and this box besides this cheap plastic junk is the lack of a, of a relay in here to switch the capacitor over to uh, to power which I believe has to be inside the uh, motor of the pump itself absent that I, they, it can't operate properly and so since I haven't taken that motor apart nor will I um, I suspect that that's the case there that the motor relay is, is uh, inside there once it reaches speed it switches over to main power but um, there's a huge difference between the quality here because there was a lot of uh, there's a huge difference in quality because there was a lot of problems uh, that I identified in this particular box here that I was not pleased with. Uh, the first one is the terminal strip, uh, terminal strip here, uh, where all the wires are connected. It was it was su such a uh, a light duty type of terminal switch. I wouldn't even use it in a low end automotive application, much less running you know um, 220 volts through it. Uh, some of the solder connections that were originally here, and I clipped, clipped them all off to go ahead and test this thing, um, had the screws were so small that they penetrated through the solder and, and made a real loose connection. Uh, you know, the quality of the, of the uh, double pole single throw switch here. You know, the fact that there's a single circuit breaker on one leg alone, which is going to cause problems if one leg... Uh, uh, cuts out and the other leg continues to feed and, and those sorts of things which really tells me a lot about the, the thoughtlessness put into a product like this and again lesson learned sometimes when you uh, are trying to save a few dollars you end up shortchanging yourself when you should have gone with something paid the money and got, got something that was a little bit more reputable a lot more reputable as a matter of fact and you know the quality is going to last you now this particular box this is another version of it as well this is called QD, Quick Disconnect. And uh, there's a CRC control box as well, which stands for capacitor control, I mean, um, capacitor run control uh, for about 20 more dollars. And what it does is it has two capacitors here. But like I said, essentially the, uh, the power will go through the capacitor, start the motor up, and once it reaches speed, the relay will switch over to direct power. And uh, on the other model with the extra capacitor, well, it will continuously run, switch over from the start to the run capacitor, and the, and the run capacitor will provide the energy uh, to continue the motor. It's a bit more efficient, but it's just, I, I, I like simplicity. One less thing to go wrong, and uh, this is sufficient. There's no difference in this as far as startup amperage draw for generator purposes, so that, you know, of course, that was a big selling point for me. And this box runs about, I don't know, about $60, so it wasn't a lot of money. A money well spent compared to this piece of junk.